You're watching The Sports Spin, presented by Uinta Basin Healthcare. Health and healing, every person, every time. Welcome to The Sports Spin, your weekly dose of sports action, presented by Uinta Basin Healthcare, with the beautiful Mark Mason and John Nurden, where we call the games, we watch the games. Now, John, let's spin the games. Today we've got a new Monster Play champion. We've got a basin-wide packed call of the week and another spin-off between Mark and I coming right at you. Now, let's go to the week rewind. Welcome to the week rewind and it's going to be a busy one, John. Let's just dive right in. Why don't we tackle baseball first? A little baseball union. Union uh, had a decent week. They lost them both, dang it. Yeah, and, and you know, they're playing, uh, who, who did they play? They Stansbury, Park City and Stansbury. Stansbury and, City. and boy, it looks like the bats for both teams were hot. Stansbury got 11 runs on them, and Park City got eight. And not a good week for not Cougar softball week. or right, baseball. So move on, move over on. Over to U Uinta. They, uh, they had a little better week. They lost one and they won one. Yeah, who did, so, who did they play? They played uh, your favorite team, Grantsville, and uh, my favorite team, Payson. Yeah, and so I, they I, lost to Payson, and or they beat Payson, and they lost, lost to Grantsville. I think that's we'll, going to be we'll important later. That little, that's yeah, going to come up it. a little later. So one and one for the Utes in the baseball week. The Cougars 0 and 2. Moving on, let's softball. take a look. Softball. softball. We'll stay with the Un bats. Union softball. Uh, they just finished a game just now. You just got the score hot off the press. What was it? Yeah, this was a big time game. Playing Park City. Oh, 17 nothing. The Cougars. Destroyed Park City. Destroyed. Their souls, they have no more souls. Park City's going home like this. You know, and I'm glad. You know, yeah. I, I don't have a mad love for Park City, and I love when Union beats them. It's my favorite part of uh, high school sports. When you say you don't have a mad love, it, would it be more like on the hate side of yeah, mad love? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty And side. it's the fans. Love ball. to hate them. I love, love the kids. Love to hate them. Love to see them lose 17 0. Good job, girls. They the also, Cougars kicking tail. They also uh, had another game against Stansbury. I didn't see the score. Did you see? Oh, they yeah, lost. Stansbury, unfortunately, they did lose. Tough that one, 7 13. But Looks coming, like a feeling good today. Game. So, yeah. going over to Uinta. Uinta had a great week. They played Salem Hills 18 to 5. Smoked them. Salem Hills? Aren't they region? Aren't, aren't they the same region? They are. Aren't they 4A? They are. You shouldn't lose a game 18 to 5 in region 4. Well, you know, sometimes. Or region, uh, 4A, sometimes whatever. Sometimes Union, I mean, Uinta's tough, so they knock them out like that. Yeah. That's just how it is. But here's the embarrassing part. Why did they give them any runs at all? Well, so they should have blanked them. <laughs> there you go. Good answer. <laughs> and they also play today against Spanish Fort game going on right now. We'll get you that score next week. So moving on to soccer, Mark. Soccer. Uh, how the, had the boys do? We're going to go U, uh, Union first? Let's go first? Union first. Okay. So, Union played Park City. And, uh, again, this one's one of those calls of the week that I really mm. love. So, double overtime. They get to the second overtime. It's almost over. And they just get a blooper in for Park City and lose the game. Yeah, and, and in the final minutes, too. Just, I mean, just, I, it just hang end. on for a second longer. Couldn't do it. Uh, Park City wins. And you and I talked about this. Is that one of those wins where Park City won kind of on, on uh, you know, for years they've just been the best. So, was that one of those got tight where we're playing, we're playing the draw on Park City? You know, I'm not sure what it was, but yeah. it's just that's, that's how soccer works. Yeah. At the end of the game, you give up a goal, you give up a game, and it's just a tough loss for, for Union. Moving over to Uinta. What do you know about that, Mark? 2-0. and I mean, they took care of business. Spanish Fort gave the Utes a tough game. 2-1. to one. It's a game you kind of felt like you should have won by more. You know, you say they gave uh, us a tough game, and they really didn't. We dominated from start to finish. Yeah. We missed five or six pretty simple shots. Ball's bouncing a little for us. Super wind, about 40-mile-an-hour wind. And then, uh, you know, a couple of PKs that, oh, there were like five. But I went back and watched film. There's two that were absolute, and, and one of the kids went and asked the referee, hey, why didn't you give us a PK? And he said, oh, you just want the easy one. You want the easy one. But that's the, silly. The problem with playing a team 2-1, even when you dominate them, that equalizer can come. No, it's come. a little scary. I just mean, like, just can, like Park City Just a blooper. Union. A blooper yep. can be the equalizer. So, so then we played again uh, against Springville. Kids got out, played hard, missed a few shots, put four in the back of the net, though. And I gave up two, one on a PK, one on a, just, a, just a blooper, just one of those ones that happened. Uh, but again, dominated possession, dominated ball, and uh, won the game 4-2. to two. So yeah. looking good, 8-3 uh, overall. One of the, one of the 
highlights for, for the year for, for the Utes? For sure. Uh, one of the best sport programs they have going. Uh, you know, Girls uh, golf. Golf. Oh, let's go to golf. Girls golf had at uh, uh, the Dinoland Golf Course the whole region. Everybody's at a region And we're talking match. Wasatch, Springville, Salem Hills, my Maple Mountain. Part, my favorite part of this, Mark, and you may not know yeah. this, but when we go out there, they make a start at 9 o'clock. Yeah. The tee time is 9 o'clock. So we did it to them. 9 o'clock tee time. Drive from the, the Wasatch front, get here by 9 o'clock, ready to tee off. Do you think they'll change that next year? I hope Try not. Try to be a little bit different, a little well, they nicer change to it on us. both ends. So the Utes against the field, they beat everybody by 15 strokes. It's not strokes, 15 points. Points. So now that's a little different because they run a stable for it. So if they, you know, they get four points for a birdie and two points for a par and one point for a bogey, nothing if you get blah, higher than blah, that. Blah, blah, blah. Exactly. They beat the whole field by 15. There you I go. don't, I, you know, the only team that did better was softball that won by 17, you know. 15 in golf, that's ridiculous. Very they good. won. Yeah. All right, last one. Duchesne softball uh, and Altamont softball. Uh, you know, Duchesne's doing pretty good. Altamont again, about half and half. The one note, uh, Duchesne did win 20 to nothing. Against Leighton Christian, you know, uh, man. I just said 17 to nothing was a go. big 20 win. To nothing. 20 to nothing. So the Eagles just trumped everybody. 20 to nothing over Leighton Christian. Well, great. That's the week rewind, unless you have anything else That's you want to talk about. Because uh, I surely don't want to talk about what I had for lunch. So let's take a look now at our monster plays. All right, Mark, so the first monster play from last week was uh, Union Soccer, the Net Detective. I like that name. What was his name, Tiker? <laughs> Tiker. Tiker. <laughs> I knew I'd get you with that one. <coughs> Tiger Duncan, he, he has a wall in front of him, and I don't know who it was that hit that ball, but it had some speed and some curve. He dives, saves it, bounces off of him, saves it again, and then clicks the third shot and scoops it up, and that's well how done, you protect Well done, net. Tiger Duncan. He uh, he won the won the top monster play of the week. Let's see if he can do it again. Yeah, you got a couple plays coming at him. And he had 57% of the vote, so it was close. It was but he tight. won it. Doesn't won matter. It. So, so uh, we've got this next one. It's called Drive for Show, Putt for Doe. Uh, the girls at the golf match today. You see no one on there, and there you see her. This is uh, Casey Anderson. She hit the ball to there from the tee. This is a par four, and she knocked it on in one. You're supposed to take two, Mark. She knocked it on in one. No other girl did that all day long. And then uh, she misses the putt here, just leaves it a little short. So again, hence, you drive for show, so everyone likes that. You putt for the dough, always tough to make par the putts. Par four, and she rolls it up on the rolls green. Rolls it up on. Usually on a par four, I'm on the green in four. Well, you the, know, I thought the that's camera what wasn't meant. even rolling yet. It's like, <laughs> wow. So She's anyway, that's a great run. one. So get out. Vote for Casey. Uh, anyone that's played golf knows that that is definitely a monster play. Now this other one, Mark, the last one we have, this one we call it off to the races. And here you see uh, Uinta with soccer ball, and they put the ball out in front. Caden Nerden runs out there, puts the ball in front of everybody, and it's a race. And he just puts one in the back of the net. That's that game against Spanish Fork where they just needed the goal. And uh, the whole team kind of put that together, but Caden out to the races. Uh, uh, yeah, and I, I've seen you in a do that a number of times where they'll, uh, they'll, they'll control, control, control. They find that passing lane, they shoot a ball forward, and there's so much team speed on you in it. Well done, Caden Nerd, hitting that, and he hit that with some speed. I mean, a keeper is not stopping that when you hit it that hard. No, and he got a little side netting, so good for him. And you see Jaden Spencer sending it up to Kenny and then Kenneth over to Caden. It's a whole team effort every time. So get out, vote on Twitter at the Sports Spin and vote for your favorite play of the week, Monster Play. And we'll be right back. The Mako robot is a robotic arm that assists me in surgery. We're able to do a, a scan of the joint for joint replacement, put that 3D info into the computer of the robot, and then we can plan exactly on the computer where those implants should go. It doesn't allow me to make any mistakes. The most exciting thing about, uh, for me, about the robot is what it can do for my patient. This is the Mako robotic arm, exclusive here at the Una Basin Medical Center.
back on the Sports Spin, presented by UNA Basin Healthcare. Now it's time for the Spin Cycle. Here on the Spin Cycle, we welcome from the great city of Roosevelt, Adrian Walker, good friend of mine. And Adrian, if it's sports at Union High School, you're involved. Is that, is that about right? Uh, I show up every once in a while. <laughs> it doesn't matter if we're in St. George or in Colorado or Union or at UNA, you're there with the kids and you've got a new venture right now going. I do, yeah, thank you for uh, having me on because uh, we're just wanting to try to get the word out for an, an event that's happening on Friday. I coach the uh, Roosevelt Strike 12 year old team. Uh -huh. And as part of that organization, we like to make sure we're involved in the community. And this Friday, we're doing what's called the first, uh, first ever Stars and Strikes Challenger Cup. Uh, it's uh, an event that we've arranged to where we can have a friendly game where we host uh, some of the, the kids, uh, some of the special needs kids from uh, the Connemore mm -hmm. School in, uh, in Mighton. We're gonna host a game for them, and, and, uh, and then following that event, we're gonna have a little friendly competition with some of our local law enforcement. You say friendly competition. It's, it's going to be friendly, I, I hope. Uh, who are you I, pitting against who? You're going to put the law enforcement out there. Uh, uh, against the kids? Against you, the, it, the, the 12U team? Yes. the 12, uh, so, <laughs> and, and the 12-year-olds, they're really getting into it. And, and actually, uh, you know, they, uh, they made a, a trip to the, uh, the local police department and, and issued a, an official challenge. And uh, since then, it's, uh, it's got some legs, and, and the law enforcement uh, guys are are uh, really uh, getting behind it and it's going to be a fun time. So who's going to win? Uh, you know, we've uh, we've taken uh, we're doing a score, uh, you know, guess the score contest and and most of those guesses are in uh, the 12-year-old's favor. Yeah, so, we're going to get so these guys on the, the call of the week, John. Yeah, there you go. So uh, <laughs> you get guess the score and is there a fee? Is that is that a fundraiser you're doing? That's that's part of uh, our fundraising efforts. It's it's actually probably the main part for our fundraising. Uh, it's a it, it's, you know, kind of a purchase the square. Uh, you know, correlating square between the two teams. Put me down for the strikes. Right. The market's $5. Yeah. Yep. Oh, is that what it is? All I had was a single, <laughs> and it was a bent one at that. Well, maybe it's 25 I don't well, know, but it ain't a dollar. <laughs> how much? So my question is, how fast How fast are these 12 you, you guys uh, pitching right now? What kind of speed are they getting on their ball? Uh, you know, in that age group, we're, uh, we're anywhere from like 50 to, to 60. Miles per hour. Can these cops turn on that kind uh, of I'm, that I'm kind of really, speed? I mean, I'm, I'm going to be very interested to see how this plays out. <laughs> it, it might if be I'm comical. a police officer, I'm a little nervous about this game. Yeah, I know. I can't turn on Just, a 60 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> that sucker has to come in like this for I me mean, for me to make contact. <laughs> so, how much is a square if someone wants to get with you and buy a square? You know, we're, we've got it broke up. There's uh, five dollar squares that are the more realistic scores. All the way. There's five, three dollars, and one dollar. So I'll put you in for a one dollar. Yeah, put me uh, in. Uh, <laughs> Right there, what's that going to be like? A, be, a ten to nine score? Is no, that what that is? Actually, it's going to be about thirty-five to six. Okay, thirty-five to six. Okay, yeah. put me thirty-five six I strike. Got, I got it gotcha. down. Yeah, okay. Thirty-five <laughs> to six for the youngsters. Yeah, Mark, that's your call of the week. <laughs> that's the call <laughs> of the week. Uh, will you say that uh, you're you're doing a community service with a twelve U team? I hear about that in the high school level, but that's unique. And, and for, you're calling uh, it leap. So, and, and my understanding is LEAP is leadership, excellence, accountability, and positivity. What does that, what does that mean for those kids? You know, that's, uh, we, uh, we try to make it more than just baseball for these boys. We think it's important to, uh, you know, to take this opportunity to use the game to build character, teach some life skills, things that are going to help them be successful in, in, you know, school, the community, in their homes. Give us a couple of examples of things they've done recently. You know, we, uh, you know, we've we've cleaned up Main Street. We've we've uh, done uh, businesses, uh, you know, in terms of washing windows. We've held car washes. You know, we've raised money and tried to give back to local charitable causes. Um, you know, and and uh, we we try to keep them busy. It's not just baseball 24/7. We spend a lot of time with these boys, but. Uh, and, and baseball is important, you know, the game's important, teaching's important, but uh, a part of that is, is building character. So, you know, we'll be watching as uh, Union starts to get some of these kids into their program, and we'll see what effect that has on the Union High School program. As uh, you said, maybe some of the, the juniors and sophomores, maybe that's their, they, they had part in this at their younger age, and, and maybe some of the first crew starting to come through. Yeah, I mean, the high school coaches, they do a, a good job, you know, a great job of, of emphasizing, you know, the same principles.
you know, I've been very impressed with, you know, the high school coaches on both sides, you know, all over the basin. And we're just wanting to put, you know, some of our principles in line with what they're already teaching and coaching. Uh, but we, we think and, and hope it'll pay some dividends down the road and, and help build the program. It's, that's certainly a goal that we have. You know, we know it will pay dividends. Those kids love to remember their coaches and their little league coaches. And, and I tell stories to the kids that I coach now about leaders I had and, and people who taught me those, those same values as a, a 12, 13 year old kid. And uh, I still use some of those stories to teach the, the high school kids now. So it's very appreciated. The kids love that. And, and we're thankful that you came on and uh, had a minute to, to share with us about yeah. that as well. The event's called the Stars and Strikes. It's benefiting both the special needs kids in Mighton and the cops uh, in, the, in the, uh, the Roosevelt area for uh, Duchesne County. Uh, neat event, Adrian. Thanks so much for joining us here on the on this sports spin here on the spin cycle. We're going to be right back after these messages. robot is a robotic arm that assists me in surgery. We're able to do a, a scan of the joint for joint replacement, put that 3D info into the computer of the robot, and then we can plan exactly on the computer where those implants should go. It doesn't allow me to make any mistakes. The most exciting thing about uh, for me about the robot is what it can do for my patient. This is the Mako robotic arm exclusive here at the Una Basin Medical Center. Welcome back to the Sports Spin. Let's get to the calls of the week. Calls of the week, and oh, Mark wins again. I guess so maybe we should review what, let's why just review and how. Real quick. Okay. So, so if I understand this right, we're giving you four weeks of win and me two weeks of win. So you're I'm, four to two. I'm not sure. Can we go with that? Does that feel good? That's fine. Okay. So getting to this week, <laughs> we had you into baseball at Grantsville. You picked Grantsville. I picked you. Uh, you into. Dang it! You won that one, Mark. Grantsville. Ah, I, I. You know, I had this feeling. Grantsville's tough, man. Every time I watch them. They're playing hard. I mean, Grant they play hard tough. from the opening whistle to the closing whistle. I know they don't do whistles so much in baseball. They say, play ball. All right, moving on. There's Duchesne a win. Duchesne versus Uinta softball. Duchesne, Uinta. So you picked Duchesne just to see what would happen. You missed it. Uh, Uinta, their JV team beat them. It wasn't so, close. And it wasn't close. So do I get two for that because it was the JV team? Nah, you oh, just give that's, me one. Fair that's enough. A, that's a game. One that's one, one of those. It's a 4A versus a 1A. Fair enough. One you to one. You should have won. In fact, I should get a point just because Let's I called the underdog. Let's just go for one for one then. Okay. Moving on. Uh, Union soccer at Park City or versus Park City. Again, very close. Go Miners. You eat Go Miners. out. Go you Miners. Lucky sucker. Nah, I had it. So, I, I paid him off. I, so I had 20. I gave 20 bucks to uh, Duncan said, hey, I got money on this. Would you, uh, would you let one go? Let, it, let one go in there. So let's see. <laughs> so that gives you two and me one for the week. And then wait, wait, hold it, hold it. Uh, Curry over 400. That's two for John, two <laughs> for Mark. And the Warriors, 93 victories. That would be three to two. John wins the week. It is now four to three, Mark. I can't. Game over. I call don't of the even, week is I done. I don't even think we, uh, we decided that I got a point for the ah, call of the underdog. Can, so it's a push. It Still four to two. Four, four to three. Well, wow, I mean, nothing week. changes. So uh, that's the calls of last week. I'm still ahead. You are. Still winning. Three. Still winning. Okay. Don't call it a comeback. So this week, here we go. We're going to go Union Soccer, Stansbury versus Union. Uh, we're going to call whether they get beat 8-0 or not. Last time Union got beat 8-0. So Stansbury's on the road. Stansbury's on the road. And Union didn't have the full team with them. Okay. Union has some pride. They do not lose 8-0. I'm not thinking they're going to lose 8-0 either, so let's go with the score. Uh, I'm going to say Stansbury wins this one 5-2. All right, I'm going to go 4-2. I'm writing this down. because I 4-2. I, I think your math is bad. Let's see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> My math is bad. Yours is horrible. <laughs> okay, you and a baseball versus Payson. 
this one's on the road. UN is on the road at Payson, correct? That is correct. And you are going to pick? Nope, they're going to be here at they were on the road yesterday on Tuesday. Okay. Excuse me. Thursday they're going to be here, so it's here. And they won on the road, so the Utes win. It's easy. You going for the Utes win? Yeah. All right, I'll go for the spoiler. Love the Utes, but I'll go. I'll just go to go against you. Oh, I, that's the only reason you're doing the only this. Only reason. Just to just to be just contrarian. Just to go against you. What a jerk. Wow. Where's your Where's your Utes? Right, Altamont pride? softball versus <laughs> Rockwell. Altamont. I got Altamont. I just what have is a Rockwell? Feeling. I thought that was a watch brand. It's just some school in the <laughs> I mean, somewhere in Utah. It's tucked it away in the corner of some. You go for Rockwell? No, I don't even know who they are. Altamont, <laughs> Longhorns, all, right. all the way. Longhorns, go, go. go it's actually, it's actually like. <laughs> How do they do that? Longhorns. Is that it? Yeah. That's rock on. That's what you do at, G at the Guns and Roses All right. Concert. So we got our calls of the week out, Coachella. Mark. Coachella. We'll see, uh, we'll see if I can even it up this week. <laughs> That's it. Calls of the week. All right, John, you ready for this? This is my favorite segment because uh, I always win. <laughs> yeah, there's it's been one. You thing. are the king. That's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, we call this so one. So here we are on the spinoff. Spinoff. Take it away. <laughs> what is the spinoff this week? What do we got? Mark, you know, is it more embarrassing to lose to Kobe? For the Jazz by letting Kobe get 60 points or to be Jordan Spieth and lose the Masters uh, with a six-stroke lead going to the back nine. Embarrassing? Which You're more embarrassing? You're asking me? Which is more embarrassing? It's way more embarrassing for the Jazz to lose to Kobe Bryant. I, you know, I, I, I'm going to defend golf here because there's some big names that have lost on the back nine at the Masters. The back nine of the Masters, there's ghosts that haunt that. Amen corner? I mean, that's that's one of the more intimidating places in all of sports. It is hollowed ground. Listen to these names that have lost big leads. Sam Sneed. I'm listening. Hotch. Greg Norman, 1966. You know, Greg, Greg you know, Norman, he, that, he, he is the, the master of choke. Yeah, Definitely that was a, that was a big one. But let's so talk Jordan about Jordan Spieth. So listen, Mark, he has it a, happens. seven days, seven days. The tournament runs eight days. For seven days, he leads wire to wire. Going clear back to last year, he has the he has the lead. Wins you the Masters last year. You know how hard that is. And he comes out it's again. It's one man against a field, and, and not only is it the field, quadruple. it's the best of the field. You have to be the best to play at the Masters. Yeah, he shot he, a quad he, for seven days. He so, led, so and yes, he speaking. chunked a piece of grass larger than a Volkswagen that went farther than a ball. Yes, but it's hard to win blah, there, blah, and he blah, won there blah, last blah. year. So let's talk a little. Okay. Let's talk about being at the elite level of your game, Kobe Bryant. Not many better than Kobe in the history of the NBA. Not now. And his last game, you Achilles, know he's going to put in the, in the rotator effort. cuff. Fair enough. All broken of that. kneecap. All of that. And you know, at some point, the game didn't matter for the Jazz, so they they beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. And then you know what? They said, you know, Kobe, it's your night. We're going to just let you have it. Sixty. Yeah, they let, let him have you have it. Kobe let was a, out of breath. Let a 37-year-old man score 37 points. Is he 37 or 4, 39? I think it's 39. I, I, I don't know. He's old. Achilles. But he was out of breath, about dead. You got to give Kobe the, the – he's the ambassador of the game of, of basketball now. You know, I mean, who goes out like that? They're not playing for anything. They're out of the playoffs because they exactly. have no pride. They can't beat Golden State at home. They can't you win know, against Dallas. Jazz are fun to watch. It's definitely Shokers. better to let Kobe Shokers. beat you than to, to get a quad on the back nine leading the Masters. No, it's, too, it's way Kobe more embarrassing Bryant. to get a quad. He was playing on one leg. All right, so let's just let's just say, Mark, Golf. that, it's that much nobody deep. nobody that we know can score 60 in the NBA, <laughs> and all of us can get a quad on the back nine of any golf course. So it's definitely more prideful to lose to Kobe getting 60. Prideful? It's yeah, embarrassing. It's, it's embarrassing. Jazz, you ripped my beating heart out of my chest, stomped it on the ground. We're done. I'm divorcing you. I think it's 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 way more embarrassing. Don't to lose forget that game. to follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Stay tuned. Mark will be back on the Jazz, but you can follow us on the Sports Spin and vote for your favorite, John. Voting for the uh, less embarrassing to lose to Kobe and Mark. Eh, this golf thing. <laughs> so, we'll be right back with the, with the fast dash. Eight thousand square miles. Rural. Rugged. Remote. 
Some may find it unappealing, but we, we call this place home. Connecting our homes, our farms and fields, our business and industry, our recreation, it's a necessity. We get that farmers, ranchers, rednecks, and even roughnecks need to stay connected too. Our mission is to connect their lives. Our mission is to connect your life. After all, we live, work, and play here too. Welcome to the Sportsman. It's time for the Fast Dash. So here we are on the Fast Dash with Brooklyn Lamb. So Brooke, you know how this works, right? You've seen the show? Yes. You ask us a bunch of questions? Yes. No. So do you have your questions ready? <laughs> 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 All um, right. So the reality is we asked you questions. Um is not a question, by the way. <laughs> I, I was going to say grilled cheese or ham sandwich. I'm a grilled right. cheese guy grilled for, cheese for sure. Me as well. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. We're going to fire questions at you as fast as we can. All you right. answer those as fast as you can. We'll try to stump you up a little bit. Okay. All right. Put a clock up there. First question. Track or soccer? Soccer. Uh, let's go with prom or hanging with the girls? Hanging with the girls. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Kobe or Trevin? Steve. 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 I like it. I like that answer a lot. Uh, Trump or Hillary? Um, no comment. Wow. Wow, good <laughs> answer. Who will win the NBA this year? Um, that is a good question. <laughs> Don't follow the NBA that much. <laughs> I know. Good for you. <laughs> what do they play? What, what is that? Uh, that's, that's, that's yeah. Oh, okay. good. I'm glad you at least knew that. <laughs> Running or throwing? Uh, that one's really hard. How about throwing? Throwing. Are you Very shot good. put in track? Is that what you do? And javelin. Oh, there you go. Yep. Homework or TV? TV. <laughs> right? Okay. TV. How about uh, Trump or John? John. <laughs> Mark or John? Um, how about rock, paper, scissors? Oh, okay, I, like I got it. this, I got this. <laughs> rock, paper, oh, I win, one, scissors. One <laughs> Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Netflix. All right. Is that it? That's it. All right. Well done. Thanks for coming. So, uh, Fast Dash good to over. have you on the Fast Dash. Thanks for we'll, having uh, me. I hope those kids that are watching enjoyed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for me joining too. us on the Sports Spin presented by you in a base in healthcare. Health and healing every person, every time. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you next week.